What's going on everybody? Corbett Everidge here from Ministry of Defense LLC and Weapons of Mass Discussion Podcast. Just doing a uh, quick follow-up on a video we did recently regarding some uh, failure to feed issues that I had with a new Smith & Wesson M&P Shield uh, Compact 45 ACP. Uh, so we'll just skip the foreplay and get right to it. Uh, the last time we spoke, I had... Uh, reveal some issues that I had with uh, about the first three or four magazines that I went through the, the new uh, pistol with and had about four or five, if I recall, failure to feed issues. After doing some research, what I had learned was uh, that some people had experienced some problems with the feed ramp and due to the way the pistol was being engineered and manufactured that there was some, there was some coating or something on the feed ramp that was preventing the round of feed up into the barrel from the magazine properly. Uh, what I did yesterday is I actually, I clean, first of all what I did is I just cleaned the hell out of the pistol. I, I oiled it, and I cleaned it out, and uh, I just worked it over two or three times just to make sure everything was lubed. And went back out of the range yesterday and I ran about about seven or eight magazines through it with with what you see on the left, the PMC uh, ball ammo. Did not experience any failure to feeds at all, and and I did not try to properly aim or anything. There's no marksmanship involved in it. I basically went out and did magazine dumps, and I did not experience anything. What I did do some research on online with in a couple of forums. Some folks said that they were experiencing some problems with the magazines. If any of you have bought this weapon, there they it comes with two magazines. One of them on the bottom has a very thick lip at the, at the base plate, and the other one's very thin. Uh, this one gentleman was talking about said that he experienced a lot of the problems with the with the thick base plate. Um, I did not. What I did about a month ago is I actually loaded loaded the magazine up that had the thick uh, base plate when I, when I heard this, when I read this online, and I left it sitting for, for a few weeks. And when I went out yesterday, like I said, I just, I dumped them. And I did not experience any failure to feeds. Um, also, you know how it is, you know, if it's on the internet, you got to believe it is true, right? And then... It may have been something where I, I'm, I'm convinced now that it was the ammo that I was using because when I when I fed this PMC through it, uh, it was flawless. There was nothing at all. I mean, it, it was it was smooth. Um, all the ejections were, were fantastic, um, and and it was it was it just it functioned perfectly. Uh, you know how that goes online. You know, some people would talk about what could have been a, a first time breaking it in. Uh, could have been the ammo. I read one guy says, "Well, there's no such thing as a as a break-in period or or, or or whatnot." Well, teach his own. You you believe what you want to believe. This kind of guy come across to me as a sexual intellectual, you know, otherwise known as a fucking know-it-all. But my experience yesterday was, you know, I, I like I said, I did a few magazine dumps and it, it, it cycled. It, it functioned flawlessly. Um, a few weeks ago, like when we had posted the original video, somebody had put in the comments that they were experiencing the same problems that I did. Uh, I don't like to name drop. I just don't like to do that to people online. So, um, so um, brother, whoever you were in the comments, if you would, please reach back out to us because I'd, I'd be interested in knowing, you know, if you've had any further developments with your rig. But um, I'm pleased with mine. Uh, like I said, I think this was just the first time... Uh, get to know you period uh what i plan on doing with it now is I, I am just to be on the safe side i am going to have the feed ramp polished uh i do have some plans for this one i'm going to have the side uh the slide cerakoted and i'm you know I'm, i found a base plate or i found a plate that goes where the rear side is that you can you can add a, a red dot to so i may do that i may add night sights to it i'm not really sure yet uh, I'm, I'm in the process also of building an AK, so I'm, this one's kind of, uh, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. But final analysis, I'm pleased. Um, I, I do think that, in my opinion, I think it was, I, I was just using probably some crappy ammo uh, when I put this PMC in it. Uh, and like I said, I think probably part of it was I, I cleaned it several times. 
I did try to weaken that spring up in the magazine a little bit, and when I took it out yesterday, I, I, I dumped a few magazines, and it, it was flawless. So um, that's my update on this. If any of you have have any um, experience with it, you know, similar, dissimilar, we'd be we'd be happy to hear from you. And um, if you would hit that like and subscribe button, um, you know, notifications, we we uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, if we don't get to talk to you, uh, have a Merry Christmas. And uh, we do appreciate you taking time out to, to, to join us on our channel. And everyone stay safe, and we'll see you next time.